Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can integrate uh, admin LTE 5 in your Laravel um, application. So we are going to use Laravel 5.6. I know a lot of you have this uh, question and this is a problem for everyone. I think the documentation is not so clear. Maybe I have not seen there. There are so many problems. Me myself, I also had some problems. So I just put a few hours of working on this one. Now I just found out how you can integrate it in the correct way. So let's start doing it. Uh, of course the video is gonna get a little long because I will explain every details of Font Awesome so just bear with me and I will teach you everything you need to know so in this directory I will just open the git bash here to install a fresh Laravel 5.6 here Laravel new let's give it a Font Awesome name so it will take a few seconds to install So it is installed now. I will just cd to the font awesome directory and I will open it in the code editor here. So let's see how we are gonna uh, do the things here. Next we will install all the packages we have. If you just take a look at the package.json, we have all the dependencies. I will just run the command of npm install. It will install all those dependencies that listed here so let's see how we can add the font awesome to our application so i will go to the documentation here this is that we have a web font css and we have svg there are many places in the website and in the internet where they just give you some example to add these things these things that is not like that basically they have four different uh, as you can see different uh, button here the solid is the solid style the regular is just the basic style and the brand is the social network or the company's uh, icon like that so if you are going to use all of them you have to if you are going to use cdn of course just grab all of them but for us we are not going to use like that so what we we are going to do is we are going to install it through npm so here is what we are going to do one thing else you should uh, notice here what is written here it is fourth awesome not font awesome most of people just make a single mistake here the directory name is fourth awesome uh, uh, and then a slash font awesome something like that so i will grab this one or just press on the copy here i will come here i think this is uh, still in installing the dependencies it will take a little while i will just pause the video for now so now we will just paste the code here uh, okay i didn't copy it copy this one and coming here i will paste it and it will install the font awesome so let's run it Again, it will take a few seconds to install. So it's installed now. I will just run the PHP artisan make auth to run the authentication as well as I will run the server so that we can open our application and start editing. So here is our file. As you can see, we have the node module here and everything is set up for now. So let's run our server. We have the authentication scaffolding so i will run the php uh, artisan mm, serve and i will just pass a port of let's say giving 300 so now we can go to the browser and here i will run one two seven three hundred and we should have our application running here so what i'm going to show you is just how you can set up the font awesome so i will go to the login here I just want to display the icon here as you know if you go to the resources as a view here into the auth you have your login that build that php which show the login title here so beside the login i just want to show you the icons of font awesome for example we just want to mm, see the if if i just write i dot f a dot f a hyphen user you know in the past if you are supposed to do these things it will give you the user or the user icon for now if i come here and refresh it of course it is not going to show anything because we did not add the styles uh, for our application so i will just uh, quickly run the npm run watch this is the watcher it will just look at the assets directory for any changes and it will run and compile all the file to the public directory here if you look at the public directory just 
a quickly look we have css and js file nothing else there is not any folder called fonts the or anything like that so we will quickly create that uh, it will automatically create that for you so if i come here to the asset to the scss we will just open the app the css here and we can start adding our file here so before uh, adding our uh, uh, font awesome link here i will just quickly again check the package.json as you can see we have our font awesome here as you can see it is not font awesome it is fourth fourth awesome something like that so i'll just grab this name here copy it oops and i will come here and duplicate this line of code duplicate this one and instead of bootstrap just paste this one what this is going to do is this is going to go to the node module folder here if i come here it will go to the font awesome directory fourth awesome directory here and then going to the font awesome here inside this one if i open this one then you have the scss here as you can see so i will just quickly say scss it will go to scss directory and from here i will write the font awesome if you look we have a font awesome file here font awesome dot s c and s c s s so for now this is just fine if i save it as you can see it will compile everything again now we have successfully compiled this do you think we have the fonts now so let's check out the directory here the font awesome going to the public as you can see we don't have any font directory here if i refresh the page here still we should not see any font here ah we can see that we have our empty box here so let's go to the documentation here i will just quickly show you what they have here uh, so that it will be a lot easy for you to understand so what they give you is there are some different options they have angular ember react and all of those things what we are going to use is of course scss so if i go to the scss coming down they have different file they just describe that they have regular icons solid something like that so they say that you should add this one to your file of course you can add this one i think this is optional so for now i will just quickly add this one here and instead of web font i will just say fonts so what is this going to do it is going to go to the public directory here looking for a, a font the font folder here and it will come one folder back to the css something like that it will take that so because this is a css file here for now i think this is optional you don't need to do this one for now so uh, the L, the next thing is you should add the solid the css scss here so what i'm going to do duplicate this line of code instead of the font awesome just write solid here so after doing this just save your file it will again compile the file i hope we do not get any error even if you get the error i will solve it now so this is compiling everything so uh, until it compile i just show you the node module here as you can see inside the scss we have a solid okay we get we got the error okay if i come here we have something called solid dot scss as you can see so what i'm going to do is just uh, going to the documentation and copy the name and give it the same name as they give i will save it again let's see what it is going to do it will recompile now successfully now if i come here in the public directory we have a phones here phones folder inside this one we have vendor we have font awesome and it just copied everything here here and as you can see we have the solid one so this time if i come here in our application and let's refresh it i think it did not refresh correctly refresh your page now we have the user icon here again i can come to the blade here and change it to users save it and let's refresh our page Oops going to the login as you can see it is going to show the users here and uh, multiple icons of users as you can see now it is showing just fine so let's go to the documentation and search for facebook let's see 
okay I will just go to this one you know previously you used to say if you change the user let's say FA to Facebook it should show the Facebook icon right if I come here and this time refresh our page again it's just going to show something like this what is wrong with with this one because as I as you know in the documentation they say that if you want to use their brand you should brands you should add the brands here okay I will come here and duplicate this one again and we we'll say brands and save it let it compile the files yes compile successfully and this time if I refresh it again it is not showing why the reason is if you go to the Facebook here if I come down this is F A B the first time I saw this one it was confusing for me why they say F A B F A R F A S something like that I thought they might have uh, missed any spelling this B is for the brand I something like that uh, we did the B for brand S for solid something like that that's why if you want to go if you are using the social network or any company's icon just add the F A D and now if I come to the Laravel application refresh the page it should show I think okay didn't show did I save it or was this F A D not uh, of course it is B for the brain I said D refresh it now it is going to show you the Facebook icon so this is how you are going to add Funtasm to your application anyway just I just show you the the way I do it uh, I don't know there are some different ways people do most of them did not work for me actually but if I come again to the vendor or the public directory here now we have the brain as well and you can add the other fonts of course the regular one just the way I we did as you know now we co can go up feel free to just pause the video if you don't want to go further I just want to show you the other files here if I come down we have the regular here we have the slim all of these things most of them are not what we are going to use of course the brand regular and solid and this is how you are going to use font awesome in your application I think you don't need to use this one if I come in this one and save it to see if it compiled down yes successfully it compiled down again if I come here and refresh the page it is working just fine and it is showing our icon I think if if did not work just add this one if it work it is just fine so this is how you are going to add font awesome I hope it has been informative for you if you have any question feel free to ask below the video or just request them um, any problem I will just solve it for you and thank you guys for just commenting good comments and I really become inspired by reading your comments like I can help people uh, achieve their goal uh, at least at some point I can help I don't see I do a lot of stuff at least these are the, the listing I can do so that's it and soon I will record some new series of video for YouTube for free and if you have not subscribed to the channel feel free to do if you think this is informative and the content I share just subscribe because that is how you are can support me uh, mostly I don't say these things but some people forgot to subscribe so I just want to mention to subscribe to the channel for more video and thank you for watching